I did Quaaludes one time in my life. I was in New York, my first year in New York, I was 22 or three. My friends came over, and I have a very low idol anyway, like, like I love drugs that get me up. Like pot is an up drug for me, I don't know why. Cocaine was the reverse, how ridiculous is that? Okay, so like we took Quaaludes, oh great, we're gonna take Quaaludes. This is like four dumb guys. This is my apartment on 8th Avenue, over a bus stop, 55th and 8th in New York <laughs> City, okay, in 1979. Uh, we take the Quaalude, we're in my apartment, we're drinking, of course, because that's brilliant when you took a Quaalude. We finally say, okay, now we're fucked up enough, I don't know what we're going to do, probably get robbed. We go out, we leave, we walk down the three flights of stairs, to, and we get on the street, I go two blocks, and pass out. Like, I remember, like, being <laughs> on the hood of a cab, like, like just like, like Dustin Hoffman in <laughs> Midnight Cowboy, except I'm literally passed out. And then they took, they peeled me off, they brought me, thank God we're only two blocks from my apartment, took me back to my apartment, three idiot guy friends, put me on the bed, and I woke up 14 hours later with the door open. And, no date. And, and no date, I was lucky to be alive. 14 hours later, it just put me to sleep like, and the door was open and no one had come in and robbed or killed me, which showed you how uh, desirable that, <laughs> that studio apartment was. Uh, 10 people probably came in, they just looked around and left like a, they were browsing <laughs> at a candle shop. Um, That's what my parents did. So I don't have- My the... parents came to the door of my apartment and they were gonna take me out to lunch. And they, the door opened and they stood there and then they closed the door and left and never stepped in. Wow. And because they just went, right. oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so, and, and then we just all imitated one another. You know, uh, I did 11 films. I was always one way or another fucked up and... and uh, really? I mean, working on the set? No, no, I was, I was at my apartment. My parents were gonna take me out to lunch. They stopped. They took one look at how messy my apartment was, closed the door, never mentioned it again. And they were, as parents, completely appalled that I was that filthy. <laughs> dirty. <laughs> and just with so socks, just I'm not talking about. It. You're just a slob. Is that your? I'm a slob. Oh, right. Does it bug your wife? Uh, that it could, did. It could <laughs> until I found the right one. <laughs> oh, because she's also a slob. <laughs> no, she's a very strict. Uh, oh, so she keeps very, you in line. Yeah. Some but, guy, some guys but like thing, that. But yeah. that was the the extent of it, and and then what happened for me was. I started to get invited up to the Playboy Mansion. Of course, and You're a movie star. Right, That's what happens? And that I wasn't quite yet a movie so, star. Well, Jaws I was certainly from, made well, you. The but that was the at that moment. It was that was the adjustment. That was the new term of endearment, I guess. Um, Terms of Endearment was 1982. So, Jaws was 1975. So, I know my movie date. Hey, thanks for watching the clip. Hit the subscribe button now so you never miss out on our club random content that's posted daily.